Welcome back to Gentleman's Corner, guys. My name is David. Today I have a splendid Saturday video for you. And uh, today I'm in a little bit of a hurry, so I won't be super long-winded about this. Uh, my wife is dragging me to a uh, birthday party for the son of one of her friends. Uh, I don't really want to go to, but I'm going to go because it makes her happy. But before that, we're going to go see Captain Marvel. Um, review on the movie to come. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge Marvel fan. I love all the Marvel films. Um, I haven't seen Captain Marvel yet. I'm not really aware of her mythology in the comic universe, but we will get there eventually. Once I have time, I don't. But we'll maybe have time. We'll see. Anyway, I just finished filming the review for Fourth Generations 1897, and uh, overall a pretty positive review. Um, you know, there's some, there's some little dips here and there that I would like to see, um, you know, corrected in future blends from fourth generation, but you know, every palette is different. And so what tastes awesome to them may not necessarily quite do it for me, but I'm going to leave the rest of that to the review, which will post later on this week. For now, a couple of exciting things going on. Uh, the channel is still closing in on 500 subscribers. I think we're at 485 right now, which is not a huge jump. We actually lost a couple of subscribers earlier in the week. Um, so numbers have been kind of fluctuating this week, which is okay. I mean, that happens. Uh, I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, we do have another review coming up. It's going to be the Undercrown Shade uh, Coronet from the, uh, the tin that they're always advertising on uh, Twitter and Instagram. I had the pleasure of having one the other night. Uh, it was the only other good night for smoking this week. And my wife wanted me to uh, teach her how to smoke a cigar. So we brought her, I brought her out here and uh, taught her how. She wasn't terribly impressed. Uh, but it was kind of a neat little experiment. So this week, um, let's see, what's going on this week? Well, first of all, uh, the FDA has delayed their testing requirements for cigars and tobacco, or pipe tobacco. Um, they did this after a lawsuit showed that there is no reliable way to test um, cigars and pipe tobacco in the same way that they test cigarettes. There's not a reliable method of doing that at this point, and the testing deadline that they had set did not have any guidelines for how to test uh, these products. And so um, several retail associations had filed a lawsuit and the uh, after sh a showing in court, the uh, FDA has voluntarily delayed that uh, testing deadline. It is now reset to six months after the FDA releases guidelines on how to test these products. Uh, we're not expecting any kind of guidelines to come out in 2019. So that's some good news for um, pipe and cigar retailers and blenders and manufacturers. So very good news coming out of Washington at this time. Mm, tobacco went out. Let's see, I think I need to get some ash out of it. This blend, more than most, you have to watch um, how your ash builds up. Normally I can not have to ash a pipe, but for whatever reason, this one, I have to ash it somewhat frequently and uh, kind of retamp the uh, remaining tobacco, but it's a little high maintenance, but it's fine. In the world. Got a little blockage right up near the mouth hole. There we go. Had a little block right near the draw hole. It's completely closed. Anyway, now tomorrow I will be going to the Sherwood Renaissance Fair uh, here in Texas. It's just outside of Bastrop, Texas, which is close to Austin. I'll be taking a pipe with me, obviously. Um, it'll be my semi-church warden. And uh, I haven't decided what tobacco I'm going to bring yet. Maybe y'all can comment and say, you know, what kinds of tobacco you would bring with you to a renaissance fair and uh, give me some ideas. So, 
I'm in the process of deciding that. But I'm getting ready to bust out the kilt, and there will be pictures on the next Splendid Saturday of all of this uh, frivolity. <laughs> Son of a gun. So, what else? What else? Yeah, the Renaissance Fair is probably one of my favorite things. Um, we used to go to the Texas Renaissance Festival, which is held outside of Houston, Texas. And we decided to uh, abandon that a couple of years ago. We had an issue with getting into the fairgrounds. Uh, the uh, local sheriff's department had shut down all of the roads, and it's all Texas back roads. Um, none of these are major highways. They had shut down all the roads leading to the parking lot uh, for the Texas Festival and had it down to one lane to enter. And we were a mile away, and Google Maps said it would take an hour. So we just abandoned course, left, and just said, we're just sticking with Sherwood from this year forward. Um, it's also nice because I have a friend who works at uh, the Sherwood Forest Fair who is a tobacconist, and she gets me free tickets every year, which is very nice. So in exchange, I am bringing her a couple of cigars. Uh, she specifically asked for the Undercrown Maduro. So I got her a couple of Robustos, and I'll be bringing that to her because the boss that she works for blends all of his own tobacco, and she is a little tired of yeah, that's the only thing you smoke and you don't have money to go out and get other cigars. Uh, it gets a little tiresome at some point. Now, speaking of tobaccos, I have had a wonderful, wonderful gift from a colleague of mine at my law office who also smokes a pipe. These blends were given to me. He did not like them. They are over 10 years old, uh, the tins, and he gave them to me in the hopes that I could save them. Um, they were absolutely bone and brittle dry, and uh, I now have them in uh, a couple of Tupperwares with some humidifier packs in them, and I'm working on slowly bringing them up. Um, it'll take anywhere from a week to two weeks to get them back to where they need to be. Uh, and it's a labor of love, but for these blends, I think I can do that. And these blends are McClellan's Navy Cavendish and a blend I'd never heard of before. McClellan's Gray Havens. Now, Gray Havens, I had never heard of before. And uh, apparently, you know, it's a, a very nice blend. Um, Gray Havens is a coarse cut, and the Navy Cavendish is a flake cut. And the flakes were bone dry and brittle and felt like tree bark. Um, the Gray Havens just felt like uh, you know, grit. I mean, it, it was so dry. And so I'm slowly rehumidifying them. Right now they're doing a pretty good job. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, folks. There is a red-shouldered hawk that is sitting on top of my fence line between me and my next-door neighbor. And it is gorgeous. It's about this big. Oh my, you are gorgeous. Ooh, I love birds. Birds are my favorite animal. Right next to dolphins. Not sure why. Maybe it's because I used to work for SeaWorld. Who knows? Anyway. So I'm in the woo. I'm in the process of rehumidifying these. You can follow the, uh, the story. I'm updating uh, every couple of days. I'm updating on my Instagram and my Twitter account on how the progress on these is going. If you want to follow that, the links to my Instagram and Twitter are in the description box below this video. So... Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. It's really all the time I have for um, any of that. Uh, I will address one question that was brought up to me by a viewer on one of my other review videos. And uh, it was on the uh, Lane1Q video. And this is not a specific question generally, but I'm going to turn it into something. So he had asked, he is a cigar smoker who has recently decided to smoke a pipe. And he was asking, or he was commenting that he really didn't enjoy Lane 1Q. Um, he thought it had a very chemical aftertaste and just left a, a very strange feeling in, the, in his mouth, like a coating. And asked me if there were any other blends that he should try uh, that maybe are not so sweet. 
the first thing I thought to myself is, brother, you're barking up the wrong tree because all I smoke is aromatics. But it kind of got me thinking. I was like, if I'm a cigar smoker and I want to transition to a pipe, what kind of blends am I thinking of? And so I started kind of mulling it over. And ultimately what I came up with is um, maybe something like a Navy Flake, um, either Escudo or um, I would have suggested Dunhill, uh, but they are no longer in business, or a light English blend. I thought both of those maybe, because they don't have added flavorings, would be a good way to kind of get started into pipes, or maybe a vapor. Um, I would have recommended Dunhill's Elizabethan, but obviously that's out the window now, so I could recommend uh, Luxury Twist Flake um, or Luxury Navy Flake. So I asked him, I said, you know, if, you, if you're a cigar smoker, why did you buy Lane 1Q? And his answer to that was it, it came as a free sample when I bought the pipe. So, um, you know, this is just kind of a general comment. You know, if you're looking to get into pipes, know what kinds of flavors you like. If you don't like super sweet stuff, don't go with aromatics. Get online, go to pipesandcigars.com and just start looking or smokingpipes.com, whichever you prefer to use and start looking through um, blends or better yet go to your local retailer and just say hey I want to start smoking a pipe normally this is what I smoke I'm not a huge fan of this kind of this flavor or that flavor and see what they tell you and uh, you know, give them your business so anyway that's kind of my little rant for today um, but generally I wanted to share mostly I want to share these two things with you um, just because these are so cool. If you have any fond memories of smoking either one of these, please leave a comment below. Um, I've never even heard of these before this, and so I'm kind of interested to see what kind of history they have. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And please do hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a little bell, and it will send you a notification anytime I upload a new video. Uh, if you have any questions that you would like to ask me, feel free to comment below or use the method described in the description box by using a hashtag on Twitter, hashtag AskGentleman'sCorner, and I will be uh, addressing those in the next Splendid Saturday. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a Splendid Saturday wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. My name is David. This has been a Splendid Saturday video from Gentleman's Corner. Other than that, guys, have a good one.